it was four years ago. 2020 was a very special year for me. I have turned 20. I finally drink alcohol and celebrate my kamikaze ceremony. I was so excited. However, one of my friends was not so excited. Oh, are we already 20 years old? I don't want to be older anymore. I wish I could stay young and beautiful because aging is ugly. You have such a conversation unconsciously, don't you? Frankly, after talking with my friend, I was shocked by her words because I felt that she was denying our futures. Why on earth should we be too scared of aging, even though it's inevitable for all of us? So today, I am here to change your mind about aging. From negative to positive, from ugly to beautiful. In this speech, I define ugly as the idea that aging is a negative thing. On the other hand, beauty means the idea that aging is a positive thing. I hope my speech would become a key for all of you to say goodbye to the discrimination or fear of aging. Do you know the top three forms of discrimination in the world? You probably know racism, sexism, and why is the last one? It's ageism. The bias against aging, especially about women. This notion was defined by the first director of the National Institute on Aging in the United States. This is such a universal problem. However, this data that is so table loaded that we tend to know it. MyVoice.com, an internet research company, both half of men and 70% of women are hesitant to grow older in Japan. To give an example, this idea appears in various Japanese words you may use or at least hear the word. Lekka, which means to degrade in English to describe aging. Female celebrities are often target. It's sad to say we ourselves casually take that thing to each other. I mean, we put pleasure some, or even ourselves unconsciously. Do you want to live in such a strange world? So, we should all face this problem seriously, regardless of gender or age, because all of us are getting older every single day. Don't you think this problem is only the, about the older generation? Actually, this problem exists within the younger generation. For example, here at the university. When I entered the university, I was confused with the world. Logai, which is compound slang in Japanese for old person, people, and harm. Why freshmen can benefit just because they're younger? So my juniors or seniors are supposed to feel happy and make fun of their age or glad. Even though we may think it's silly, this can still create a sense of unease or a shame in about getting older. It's so ridiculous, isn't it? Moreover, we are under pressure from society to stay young looking. According to the Royal Society for Public Health, almost half of men, women, and the quarter men feel immense pressure to maintain youth appearance. For instance, many people should take anti aging. Wakazukuri in Japanese. In particular, aging is forcing women to hide aging. Don't you think that's strange? Of course, I don't mean to deny the anti-aging or youth itself. Both youth and agents are beautiful. 
I just cast onto the world where we have no choice with or without anti-aging. No one wants to be discriminated against, especially something that we cannot control. It's your turn to make end to ageism. Sadly, ageism can hurt your loved ones. Let me tell you my experience. This is my grandpa, who have turned 90 years old last year, and he lived with me since I was born. And of course, he is a very precious family member to me. However, the society does not accept him. For example, when we slowly walk through the shopping mall using the walker, she blamed and totally annoyed by the people on the street. When we go into store together, the staff obviously keep distance from him. Why? Why do they treat him so ill, even though one day we will become definitely the elderly people? They forget this fact? Please imagine that your precious ones discriminate against in the society. It's shocking, right? Of course, it might be difficult for you to accept aging not only, but beautiful. All right. Actually, it cannot be helped. Aging is a natural process that everyone must experience as long as we are alive. Therefore, aging means living. In other words, denying aging means denying living. And enjoy aging means enjoy living. Please imagine that one person who rejects and grieves their own aging until his or her death. On the other hand, the other person accepts aging possibly and enjoys his or her life. Which person do you want to be? Then, how do you feel about the world I have introduced such as to degrade low guy and anti-aging. Most of you would have received a message that aging is ugly. In my case, when I had low guy as a freshman, I would feel sad because I thought, I have to be old and hung person in only a few years. John Berg, an American psychologist, insists that the way we talk about something has a big impact on the way we think about something. Even the joke, negative expression about aging leads to negative impression of aging. It's my wish today that each person can say goodbye to the stereotype and say hello to the new type. So, as the first step, how about changing the way we talk about aging from negative to positive, from ugly to beautiful? Words do indeed have power. William James, another American psychologist, it says that as the world changes, the heart changes. Positive expression about aging leads to positive impression of aging. For example, on your birthday, instead of saying, I don't want to be older anymore. Why don't you say, I was able to experience another you? If you say this, your future will look bright and beautiful. For this reason, to degrade never be used from now on. Instead, shall we self the world? Mature. Seijuku. In Japanese, because aging makes our minds or intelligence mature. Let me share my experience. 
I sent my friend on her birthday the message. You became a juror. Then she told me, that's such a nice way of thinking. If you consciously change the world you used to use unconsciously, aging might sound happy or pleasurable, right? Why don't you start selecting this idea as a wave? Actually, this movement against aging is happening across the world. In 2017, Alua, one of the leading women's magazines in the US, announced the end of anti aging to put on the prevailing ageism. It was featured in the news and supported by countries people on the world, even in Japan. In other words, this statement became a trigger to rethink about ageism, even for those who are not aware of the unconscious bias. Michelle Lee, a chief editor of Lou, explains as follows. Change is the way we talk, we think about aging start with change is the way we talk about aging. Whether we know it or not, we are reinforcing a method that aging God's condition we need to battle. But together, we can start to change conversation and celebrate beauty in all ages. With that in mind, and starting with issue, we are making a resolution to stop using the term anti-aging. So, Alua changed the way we think about aging by Change the way we talk about aging. Thanks to some of these solutions, I now realize as we grow older, we can get more chances to lead our whole lives in the future. If you think aging is beautiful, aging is ugly, you will be more and more ugly. On the other hand, if you think aging is beautiful, you will be more and more beautiful. So, everyone, now is the time to make end to ageism and make well beautiful by making ourselves beautiful. And let's have idea aging is not ugly but beautiful so that we can enjoy our own future regardless of our age. The world may not change at once. However, many are little makes a miracle. Each of our action is a chance to change the future and what side is. I strongly desire all of you cancer. I will be beautiful. You when you are asked, will it be ugly or beautiful? 2050 is a very special year for me. I have turned 50. I have finally lived a half a century and um, become an attractive, mature, and beautiful woman. I would be so excited because aging is a chance to broaden my horizons by getting diverse experiences. Of course, aging is neither fearful nor ugly for me. And it's the same with one of my friends. Oh, how beautiful we are. This is thanks to aging. It is a proof we have lived a wonderful life, so we must be proud of ourselves. By the way, how about you? Will you be ugly or beautiful? Thank you.